Hey there sugar and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name's Hannah. I am known as Hannah the Suburban Witch and today I'm going to be giving you a tell all as to why I stopped watching tarot readers on YouTube. This also includes like TikTok and other forms of media where people do this. to my channel. I'm Hannah the Suburban Witch. I just said that. I'm repeating myself so you don't forget it. I'm a professional tarot reader, astrologer, professional witch, and divination expert. And I love sharing all of that with you here on YouTube. Make sure to hit subscribe and the like button and leave me a comment. Come and say hi. I would love to hear from you. If you haven't noticed already, I reply to every single comment that I get because I'm super friendly and I love what I do and I love when you guys communicate back with me. All right, so yes, it's a total clickbaity title, isn't it? I, I feel a bit weird about it, but it's a topic that I wanted to talk about why I stopped watching tarot readers on YouTube. So there's a couple of things I'm gonna give you uh, my top five reasons and why not that I like, you can go and watch them if you want to, but this is just why I don't want to. And this is coming from me as a professional tarot reader and someone that loves tarot and tarot videos. Reason number one, the very first, re bleh, very first reason as to why I stopped watching tarot readers is because they never resonated. They were very generic and never specific enough to be giving me the advice that I was usually looking for. Now, this is the type of like, the type of readings that I'm talking about are the ones like collective readings for Virgo in June or like readings for water signs in this month or this week, those sorts of ones, which sounds like they're going to be a little bit more specific because they're also taking into account you know, your zodiac sign. I mean, as an astrologer, I know that we have a whole last birth chart and it's better to go off your rising sign. But even when I listened to the ones for my rising sign, I was still like, no, no. And that happened enough times to make me just go like, it just, it's not connecting enough. Now I am all about, sometimes we hear messages for a reason, uh, but I do think they need to be a little bit more randomized rather than us seeking it out to get the message that we need to hear. Now, reason number two, too many things were wrong. Now, this just could be the fact that I am a professional tarot reader. I teach people how to read the tarot. Like, this is my life. But I would be watching some of these videos and they'd pull what's usually a tricky card, something like the Ten of Swords or the Tower, and they would make it positive. Now, yes, sometimes it could be positive depending on the question asked, but generally, no, no, those cards are harsh for a reason. They, you know, they have light and dark aspects to them, but it just felt like a lot of the readers that I was seeing on TikTok and on YouTube were shying away from the harsh truths that the tarot is often there to give us. And I think that does a disservice to the people receiving those readings. Sometimes it also just showed a fundamental misunderstanding of what the card's meanings were, and it was very annoying. Number three, I noticed that when I was watching these things, I could tell the way they were producing the video was done in a way to make you watch longer. It felt a little salesy, like, okay, I see your, it, it felt <laughs> like it's not really a service to someone, but really like, how long can I keep them on this video for ad revenue? Or how long can I keep them on here for watch time? How long can, you know, I won't reveal it, or I'll just talk about all this stuff before I've even flipped the card, or I'll, you know, do this, but I won't even show them what the card looks like. And it just felt a little showy and a little fake, and I don't like that feeling. So what have we got? We got reason number one was vagueness. Number two was inaccurate card readings. Number three was it felt salesy or false or fake. Not everyone. Not everyone. And look, I'm saying this as someone who does pick a card readings in my email newsletter once a month. I do that with a little snippet to show people how that can feel. I've had really good results when I do that with other people in the email newsletter ones. 
they always seem to resonate really well and I hear what I need to hear at the right time. But the video ones specifically, I just haven't had that in a very, very long time. Reason number four of why I stopped watching tarot readers on YouTube is I noticed some very unethical advice being given. I'm talking health advice. I am talking just advice that, especially when we're talking a collective reading for people you don't know, you have no idea what their situation is. It felt unsafe and unethical. Some of the things I was watching people say. Things like flipping a card and saying, oh, this is, you know, a health one. And this is saying that your health is going to improve, but you have to let something go. Like that could be interpreted by someone who's vulnerable as going off medication when that's not safe to do so. And I think we as tarot readers have an ethical uh, obligation to the people taking we're in a position of power. People are taking our word very, very seriously. And we need to make sure that we are keeping our clients, our customers, our audience safe at all times. So this means boundaries, not reading on certain things, especially in public forums and making sure that the advice you're giving cannot be used in a harmful manner, especially collectively. Like if people have specific questions or you're talking about this sort of a thing in a private reading where you're Querent can give you a little bit more information or you can expand on it a little bit more. That's different. But in this setting, it just there were some very dangerous messages being put out there alongside this. And my reason number five, it's still rather than like unethical advice, unethical topics. And this is less about the pick a card readings or the readings for a zodiac sign. And this is more for the tarot readers that are reading on. <sighs> Reading on open, active court cases. Reading on open, active news headlines. Missing people. Murders. Uh, just political. And this feels like, like if you want to read for, I don't know, what football game is going to win and you're just doing it as a once off and it's kind of funny great great do that that's fun and lighthearted, and i love it and yes people might take your advice seriously and gamble on that but if you're not doing it every single week then that's okay right you're not trying to give all of the sports people their gambling details right because you're not promoting gambling but if you're doing it in things like elections cold cold cases maybe but open active court cases with real people, open missing per persons one, without being asked to by families or by people in that scenario is so ridiculously unethical. It makes me, it's the biggest ick I can possibly have. And I refuse to watch support or send any traffic to anyone that does that. It is, in my opinion, extremely wrong. Like when... I cannot remember the exact details. This was about a year or two ago. A girl went missing and this flooded social media. It flooded TikTok because she had been posting stuff about her boyfriend and then they were on a holiday together and she was quite, she had a lot of followers and then suddenly she was missing and he's saying she's missing. And we had psychics and tarot readers making predictions saying that he's guilty or he's this. Now, not only does this have real world consequences in a court case, because especially when it's all over social media or all over the internet, it sways the jury. Like it can mean, oh, just people use your brains. Oh my gosh. But it's also the families that are grieving and that are going through this. And if you get it wrong, like it's not as a tarot reader, it's not our place to do stuff like that. If you have a record of really highly accurate uh, readings in regards to things like cold cases and being able to help with this sort of a thing and the police station or the, the investigators reach out to you privately. Yes, you could read on that ethically. I think that's totally fine. I shared in my email newsletter recently about a psychic in Louisiana who helped find a woman's mother's body because she, you know, they, she did a reading for them. She was a medium. That's wonderful. That's using her skills ethically. She was called up by the grieving family to look for a missing mother. 
Now, that's okay. But if you're just doing it for views, I'm sure you can see, a little riled up here makes me very angry. <laughs> so those are my five reasons why I do not watch tarot readers on YouTube, on TikTok or anything like that anymore. Especially when it's like, stop scrolling, this is for you. It's, you. it's not. There is an algorithm for a reason. Like, yes, every now and then you might get a message you're supposed to hear in some way, manner or something like that. But no, not like that. Not always. I hope, I hope this has helped you to be a little bit more discerning in where you're absorbing your content and the types of readings you're going to. I do want to also say, if you're loving those sorts of readings, the ones for, you know, this card is for this zodiac sign or earth signs or water signs or whatever, that's fine. As long as you are not giving over all of your power. This is another thing. It's less about what I was finding when I was watching it, but what I see other people doing is they give all of their decision-making over to this person on the internet who doesn't even know who they are. Like, oh my gosh, but that tarot reader said that this month I probably shouldn't do this, so I won't do that. And it's like, well, if you want to actually take proper advice from a reader, pay for a proper reading so it can be specific to you. That's the end of my rant. This is a very ranty one. I don't usually do ranty ones. I hope you ranted along with me and agreed with me. And if you didn't, let me know. Either way, in the comments, I would love to hear from you. P.S. If you want to hear more of my uh, unfiltered views on stuff, you can 100% join me in the Suburban Witches Society. It is my private membership group. They get to see a side of me that not a lot of other people do. It is like, I have no words. It is wildly fun. We have the best community. It's just chef's kiss. Plus you get a bunch of resources to further your own magical witchy journey. I really hope to see you there. You can find the link in my description box for this episode, YouTube video. And if you have any questions, let me know as well. But I guarantee, I basically guarantee that you're going to absolutely love it. It is so fun. And if you don't message me and we'll chat about it because I reckon you'll love it. I hope you have a lovely day wherever you are in the world today and I will chat with you next time. Mm -hmm.